Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. Welcome back to Community Hotline. Glad you stayed with us because we're going to end the show talking with the East Co Employment Services. Uh, it's an organization that I've been familiar with for a while, but we're going to get an up close and personal look at a new program that they have. And here to represent East Co, I have Zach Meyer. You are the employment uh, specialist. Yep. Welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. And Jennifer Lewis, you are a newly placed employee that was placed through East Co, correct? Yes. It's welcome. It's very nice to have you here, Jennifer. So I want to hear your story in a minute about about your new job and how this all happened. But Zach, maybe if you could start out by telling me a little bit about about this program, at East, about mm -hmm. Eastco, what it's what it you know what the organization does and mm -hmm. and what the specific program. So about. we opened in 1968. We are a nonprofit. Um, we have basically um, a, a sheltered workshop. Um, we have a LEAP program where they get to do activities, mm -hmm. and then we have some residentials, so some of the clients um, live in our homes, and then they come to the, our main office, which is off of L Wallula. Okay, in, I've here been there before. Yep. yep. And so basically, um, the state is not funding uh, sheltered workshops anymore, mm. and they're shutting that down. So we're doing a new transitional period where I come in as an employment specialist and supportive employment where we're trying to transition them from a sheltered workshop environment to out in the community. So the sheltered workshop environment, if I remember correctly, was you had uh, people that were in there working, maybe uh, just working on different projects. Yep. Did, were you there at the sheltered workshop? Uh, um, Jennifer, did you work there? Yes, what, what kinds I did. of things did you do when, when you did that? You, you said labels or something? or I labeled, I did um, um, were you stuffing things and that kind envelopes of thing? yeah I did combos you did a combos. lot of combos and what does a combo mean mm. it's toothbrush and toothpaste and two bags oh, okay. and then into a bin oh okay yep. okay and then they'll they'll package seal it and we'll run it through the heat tunnel and um, put a label on it. They do about, they can do up to 1,500 to 2,000 a week. Wow, wow. Yeah. But that's changing now. Yeah. So there isn't, there isn't the, the funding to keep that program yeah. going. So the instead. States, the state's shutting it down. Mm, okay. They don't believe in um, basically paying the individual's sub-minimum wage. Um, so they get paid by their product productivity rate um, and oh. by pieces. So they believe that, you know, during this transitional period, they'll earn minimum wage or more. Okay, well, so, let's hope that's the okay case then. Yeah. So, what do you do then, Zach? So, I'm the employment specialist, me and a group of four. We just opened up our new location actually in downtown Gresham. Oh, okay. Um, and we opened in June, uh, so we're fairly new to this. Right. Um, and we each were assigned uh, some individuals who expressed that they wanted to work here in the community. And our job is to go out to different businesses, um, try to figure out what their hiring needs are, and try to match our job seekers with the best job that they're capable of doing. So, so Jennifer, you, I understand, were the first yes. to be placed on a job. Congratulations. Thank you. That's, that's really pretty <laughs> special. Thank I, you. I mean, I'd be pretty proud of that. Yes. So tell me where you're working, what your job is. Um, it's the um, clock host Hotel or no, the Cherry Park Plaza. Cherry oh, Park. Cherry Park Plaza, Plaza. Uh, right by the Chattanooga High School, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Or Reynolds High School, rather. Sorry, Reynolds High School. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's a assisted living community, mm -hmm. senior uh, living community, yep. right? retirement, retirement yep. community. Right. I, I've been in there before. It's a nice place. They have about forty to sixty residents there. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And I, I, I work in the kitchen. You work in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so I show that you're a dietary aide. So yes. what exactly do you do? What are some of the what are some of the Silverware things you do? Silverware with napkins. 
You roll silverware? Yep, I roll silverware. Um, I bring food to the tables. I do... Um, do you have to clean up afterwards? You pick I up clean some up stuff afterwards? and clean up dishes mm -hmm. and then take them into the kitchen. Um, today, something new. Actually, I did it Monday. I got to write down th what they wanted to eat. Oh, you and took the take, orders. Mm -hmm. I took their orders, but today, I'm not, I didn't take orders this time. I just took the sheets in so they can start working so on the perfect. food. Good. So you worked today then? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So how do you like it? How's it going so far? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's always kind of scary having a new job. Yeah. You know, it always takes um, a while to feel comfortable I'm in it. I'm getting used to it, actually. Yeah. And how long have you been doing it now since? Was September, it September 12th. September 12th. Yep, so over a month yeah. now. Yeah. Three days a week. That's great. That's great. I'm waiting for 90 days. And after 90 days, what happens then? <laughs> Me and Zach are celebrating. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. That's something to look yes. forward to. Well, most people have a 90 day at least time yep. where it's sort of a probationary period yep. where they make sure that you like the job, they like you, that kind of make thing. Make sure it's perfectly suited for her. Yeah, it sounds yes. like it. Yeah. I bet and you smile a lot, a lot of, at the people too, don't you? I do. Yeah. And I also say good morning to them. I say hi to them. Um, they smile at me. I'm so. betting that that's probably your best work trait that you have is that you're friendly and that you smile a lot because people yes, really like that. People really respond to that. <laughs> so I, I, I bet that you'll be a big success in that job. So what, do you anticipate working there for a long time? Do you hope that to be a, a, a career move for you? That I hope it works that I don't need him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> no offense. No but, offense, yes. but yeah. Other than that, yeah, it's working pretty good. good. I mean, today I got to work by myself, and he was in the um, the, air, lounge area. the lounge area working on something for someone else to get a job. Uh -huh. And while he was doing that, I was working all by myself yes. and everything. I just today I almost didn't want to stop for a break. Really? Yeah. Yes, I, I wanted to breaks. keep on going because <laughs> I was giving people food at the time that it was noon. Right, well, yeah, you were doing something that was needed. Yeah, you know. and I didn't want to stop right in the middle of it yeah. and then and go to break. break. Yeah. yeah, that's a pretty good feeling to have a job that you like where you know you're valued, you know oh, that yeah. you're doing something important and, and, and you're doing it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's got to be a pretty good feeling. Um, that, that's great. So tell me um, about the other people. You have other people you're trying to place yeah, in jobs. So Jennifer was my first job seeker that I placed. Um, so yippee. Yes. Um, that's a celebration. Yeah. That's worthy of a celebration. And, uh, I have three other coworkers who do work with me as well. Um, and we have actually placed two other job seekers. Um, one named Sean, who actually is placed at a, a company called Working Concepts. Okay. Um, yeah. Working Concepts actually is we do fulfillments with them in our sheltered workshop. Okay. So basically they're going to hire him and he's going to do all the production for them oh, and their great. facility down great. in Sandy. Yep. Okay. And then uh, another job seeker is Chris who just got hired at FedEx. Wow. Yeah. Great. He's Good doing job. Awesome. Yep. That's wonderful. You ha we brought you brought a few pictures here that we uh, maybe can take a look at to get kind of a feel of, of how things uh how things were and how things are. So this is going to be, um, this is a huge change for East yeah. Co. Now, what, what are we looking at here? This is. Um, so. This looks like they're preparing food. Um, so this is one of the kitchen areas. Yeah. Uh, this is the sheltered workshop. So this is what's no longer there. Well, right? it is or there, yes, but they are they're transitioning. Yeah, okay. we're transitioning from a sheltered workshop to uh, community employment, and so you can see if yep, and that's actually working concepts right there. Okay. Um, we staple knee pads, and um, okay. those those are for Carhartt pants. So oh. they're strapless knee pads. They're pretty cool. They have yeah. a little instruction. Um, yep, and so just doing a bunch of different things. There's some combos and organizing stuff. So He's, some of these people will be looking for jobs outside yep, in the community. Yep, anybody who expresses that, this is Julie doing some travel kits. Um, yeah, anybody expresses who wants to work out in the community, you know, that's our job is to just pair them yeah. up with the best, you know, 
businesses and and sometimes and, they get the best. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> finding mm -hmm. out their skill sets. And I'm really happy them up. for the job I have. I bet you so. are. That's great. I, I'm glad to hear that because you know there's nothing better than have a job you like. Of course. You know, mm -hmm. I mean that's a really. Uh, I mean to me that's a huge thing. That's, yeah. that's why I stick around here because I really love my job. So I'm glad to see that. So what kinds of things do you need? From the community, do you need just people to be aware that you're doing this so that yeah, for, I mean, if they have a need for an employee? Yeah, of course. We're always looking for businesses. You know, anybody who's hiring. Um, a lot of our jobs are job carved. Um, what so does that mean? Simple jobs. Okay, so like, you know, there's some individuals who maybe not can't do like the, I guess like, the full 100% of one job. Like if like dietary aid. Um, you know, Maybe they don't do the, the whole they don't mainstream do all of job, it. but yeah. they can do parts but of the job. But they do parts of it, yeah. 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 Um, so we just want to be, you know, op like tell the community, you know, this is a new thing. This mm -hmm. is a transitional period. You know, these people are capable. They're smart. They're hardworking. They're dedicated. Give and they want to work, you know. <laughs> yeah. Give they're them, awesome workers. They wake up every morning and, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't want to wake up yeah. to work yeah. but these people want to work yeah. like that's what makes them happy and they always are up for the opportunity and challenges every single day so yeah and, and that's worth a whole lot yeah and it's, it's worth a whole lot it's awesome you know watching watching their happiness <laughs> smile and <laughs> just showing the community that these people are capable yeah of not only something. capable but willing and and like you said they there may they may not be able to do a, a traditional job, but if you piece it out, yep. you can do it that way. And so people just maybe need to be a little more open to the mm -hmm. the different ways of doing work, because you know, yeah, it, it's like we lost an employee here recently. She went to another uh, another company, and so we we're just reorganizing and doing things different. You don't always have to do it the way you've done it before. Sometimes it, people might find it works better to, yeah. you know. And, a, and you might be surprised, they might be the best asset ever, you know. Well, yeah. People yeah. at Cherry Park Plaza tell me every day how grateful they are to see Jennifer's face. So. I'm, I'm sure. Well, so it's nice. really nice to have somebody who just sort of boosts the morale of your yes, of, of your place of business. Of so, course. Yeah. What, what else do you, what do you have to say? If somebody is um, looking for a job and maybe East Co would be a good place for them to go, would you, would you suggest checking it out as a, a place to go to get uh, get a job? Yes. It worked for you. Yeah. yeah. They treat you yeah. nicer. Am I helpful for you? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. And what's kind of cool too is if like I'm her job coach too, so I'm there until she can learn the job independently, and I can be there for as long as she needs. So she doesn't need you anymore. Pretty much. She said that to me today. You know, yeah. what are you doing here, Zach? And I, okay, bye. I can tell you have the um, the ambition to, to do it on your own, and yeah, that's that's a good thing. Yeah, that'll take you a long ways. So, what anything else we need to know before we end the show tonight about about Isco or about about Jennifer? What, what else do you like to do? What do you do in your spare time, Jennifer, while I have a couple minutes? Spare time? Do you I, have any spare time? <laughs> yes, I do. I work at home. Okay. Yesterday, I, I was working on the leaves in the backyard. Ah, that's a never-ending job this time of year. And helping Michelle, my house mom, with the leaves and getting that cleaned up. And I carved a pumpkin oh, yesterday. Oh, I did that too. <laughs> and um, it says, I love Jesus. Oh, nice. So, nice. Uh, for my work area, so it's already there. Mm -hmm. And um, so having a pumpkin carving contest. Oh, yes. Lovely. Yours probably was, sounds like it was a lot more elaborate than mine yeah. was. Mine yeah. had the old, you know, the eyes like this and the smile. Yeah. yeah. But, and uh, um, I was pretty busy yesterday that mm. I almost forgot my lunch, oh, you my did. snack this wow. morning. So <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I was thinking like, what should I put in there? So yeah. I had some baby oranges that Michelle um, teared apart for mm -hmm. me. And then I had a cheese stick and... That's a good the, snack. I mean, that... You're good to go. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. Good. Uh, good. That's great. Well, we're just about out of time. I really appreciate you both being on here. I hope the program is a great success. It sounds like you're off to a good start, and Jennifer was a great first employee to be placed, yeah. so congratulations <laughs> on you. that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. And I hope that you all out there, uh, all the viewers, have learned something about East Co, that they have a new program. If you're looking for an employee, don't look very far. You can go right down here to East Co now in downtown Gresham. And um, don't go away. We'll be next. We'll be here next week at the same time with more of Community Hotline. Thanks very much.